Jamaica, a Caribbean island nation of 2.6 million people with a history that dates back to explorers and pirates in the 1700s. British rule for over 300 years, independence in 1962, and a long and rich history in the sport of cricket. That love affair with cricket produced some great players over the years that graced the West Indies teams. Famous names like George Headley, Michael Holding, all the way up to Courtney Walsh, and now Chris Gale. Suffice to say, cricket is still a huge sport in Jamaica, and the World Cup is underway here. Everybody's excited, because it's the first time in the Caribbean, so everybody's excited about it. But is Jamaica and the Caribbean ready to host the cricket world? The World Cup brings in the giants of the sport, the powerful Australians, the always famous English, the South Africans, and the fabulous South Asian teams from India, Pakistan, and Sri Lanka. Can this laid-back, easy-going part of the world, some call it third world, handle it all? Well, the many volunteers here think so. I'm very proud. I mean, that we're here to, to pull this off. I mean, that we're doing very well in, in putting this thing together. We are warm, we are loving, and we want to give you a spec spectacular spectator experience. In Kingston, the ticket department is ready and has seen interest from around the world. We're getting persons from Afghanistan, Japan, China, the Norway. Sir, Sir Frank Warren was more than a cricketer. He Chris Deering has been at this for 10 years now, from bid process to build out. The CEO of the Cricket World Cup 2007 says Jamaica is ready. So it really was a tremendous effort for everybody and a tremendous feeling of goodwill towards this event and recognizing what, if we did it successfully, what it could demonstrate, you know, tangibly to the rest of the world. But Jamaica does have its urban blight, its poverty, its crime, the problems of any big city. Is this what Jamaica wants the world to see? Well, organizers and locals alike are hopeful that the World Cup coverage, both TV and print, will paint a different picture one of a Jamaica on the rise. This is the first sort of tourist area that the World Cup is being held into. So the, the Jamaicans, the Barbadians, the Trinidadians, the Antiguans look on it as something to help the economy. When you come to Jamaica or you come to the region, you're experiencing not just cricket, you're also experiencing a lifestyle, a way of life that is really unique. As for the facilities, one of the big challenges here was to spruce up Jamaica's famous cricket ground, Sabina Park, in downtown Kingston, a facelift that was long overdue. But the dedicated and diligent team in charge of that gushes confidence. Sabina Park is ready for the world. It is absolutely ready for the world. We refer to it sometimes as the Mecca of Caribbean cricket. As for other islands staging the World Cup, Trinidad, with its multi-ethnic population, and just having finished Carnival, is ready for another rush of people. Work on the new Brian Lara Stadium, though, is far behind, and that facility will not be used in the World Cup. But existing grounds and the upgraded University of West Indies campus will be more than adequate. Antigua is also getting ready, and preparations are nearly complete as St. John's gets set to host the Super 8 matches at the beautiful new Sir Vivian Richards Stadium. Good afternoon, my name is Michael P. And you are on the beautiful island of St. Kitts. And clearly there is plenty of enthusiasm and excitement on the tiny island of St. Kitts, where they are perhaps most ready. Warner Park Cricket Stadium was built to host group stage matches involving title holders Australia and number one ranked South Africa. And the people here are over the moon to have the top cricketers in the world on their island. I think that the World Cup will be exciting for everyone around the island. It gives us a chance to advertise our beautiful island. I'm a vendor. Yeah, and well, the, this is going to be a good month for you. Oh, yes. <laughs> I can see it. I see the change already. The place is getting exciting. People are very excited. The two top teams in the world, South Africa and Australia, coming here. The buzz is there. The people, you're seeing the flags, the, um, the bars are starting to fill up. And there's a lot of excitement about the cricket. So the Cricket World Cup 2007 has begun and much of the cricket world is either coming to or looking at the Caribbean. And what a fascinating region. A mix of cultures, a mix of heritage, all kinds of history, warm breezes and even warmer people. 
And if the organizational aspects of this come together, it could become one of the greatest events ever in the sport of cricket, and it could have long-reaching benefits for this Caribbean region. Brendan Connor, Al Jazeera, in Basseterre on the island of St. Kitts.